The apartment was in a very poor condition. I love finding projects in conditions like this because it gives us the opportunity to revive, redesign or completely rethink everything. My name is Jessica Koib. I'm an architect specialized in interior design at Interior Design Studio Daxi. If you're a fan of this never too small episode, our new book is perfect for you. Discover our top 30 small footprint homes, available for pre-sale at the Never Too Small store. The entire concept of the apartment revolves around creating a cozy and comfortable home. Together with our color consultant, we use different colors to achieve a complementary look, drawing inspiration from the stucco facade of the neighboring buildings. The apartment is located in one of the most famous areas of Kreuzberg, known as Bergmann-Kiez. It's a very charismatic neighborhood. This area is well known for its historical buildings built before 1900. The architecture and the history around me inspires me always. What colors and materials dominates in the building and around the building. We spend a lot of time bringing new life into the historical features and adding a touch of modern and vintage flair. The clients wanted to preserve the historical floor plan while ensuring it remains functional and casual. We spent a lot of time with the floor plan. We managed to keep all the wards and decided to switch things up by moving the kitchen right into the living room. As a result, the former kitchen is now the cozy bedroom. There's a small entrance as you enter the apartment. The corridor is painted in a fiery red to create a unique, welcoming atmosphere as you enter. At the end of the corridor, you'll find a built-in wardrobe that is the same color as the red wall. Since it's relatively small space, painting it the same color gives it a sense of reduced visual clutter. As you walk through the red entrance, you will come by the kitchen, painted in interior blue. Dark colors can be an ideal solution for rooms with limited natural light. They blend boundaries and make original wooden floors and white doors shine. We designed the kitchen with black, creating a contrast that gives the space a wonderfully relaxed atmosphere. Below the kitchen counter you find the fridge, the dishwasher along with the oven. The separated deep kitchen sink, inspired by the sinks in artist studios, is made of black natural stone, matching the countertop. Above the sink we've incorporated a drying rack and we used a black lime plaster for the backsplash. Above the shelf we have selected two wall lights, which also provides ambient lighting in the evening and makes a very nice atmosphere. We added a sideboard on the opposite side of the kitchen. The sideboard was designed to match the wall color, so it doesn't stand out too much. It's mounted on the wall, giving it a lighter appearance, especially in the small kitchen. The sideboard serves as pantry space for the kitchen. We chose a round table made of cherry wood for the dining area. It fits nicely into the small corner and offers better movement flow as you navigate in the limited space. The living space is in the room next door, accessible through a doorway. 
we chose to keep the original door that separates the living room and painted it white. In this room there is a day bed chosen by the customer which can be used for relaxation or as an extra bed. We've kept the design quite simple, painting in the color of Dash of Scott from Little Green. We choose this earthy, natural color, semi cheer curtains that covers the entire room. This creates a feeling of security and privacy. There is a small balcony next to the room, which the customer have furnished with vintage furniture. The view of the historical facades creates special atmosphere, especially during the summer. The clients also selected a small vintage desk for the living room. For the sleeping area, we choose pitch blue from Ferro and Ball for the walls, which adds depth and elegance to the small room. We designed a cozy nook and a platform bed with storage underneath to optimize storage space. We used wallpaper on the ceiling to complement the original ceiling cornice. And we've used a wall lamp to create a soft ambience in the evening. We completely redesigned the bathroom. The bathroom is painted in a soft pink color called Pinot and we used pink lace tiles to create a pleasant effect. The subway tiles give the bathroom a classic and straightforward style. We used German-made tiles for both the floor and the wall. The wall tiles are similar to those seen on historical buildings in Berlin and in the subway. On one wall we integrated a small storage cabinet. All the built-in storage matches the wall color, adding a touch of light pink to the classic style for a more understated finish. We hit the washing machine in the built-in wardrobe, which also provides enough space for towels and other bathroom items. My philosophy when it comes to designing space is being gentle with the architecture. For me, it was important um, to design a minimalist and invisible storage space in the apartment with uh, minimal interventions. To create clearly defined zones characterized by the combination of natural and cloudy colors. Thanks for watching. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.